Aloha, kakahiaka. This is Pastor Keith Walter coming to you live on Facebook from uh, the Parsonage office at Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town, the state of Hawaii. I'm glad you can be with me today, either live or later, for this service of lament after gun violence. I was on vacation and away during uh, some of the uh, uh, earlier violence, uh, gun violence in uh, Buffalo and in Laguna uh, Woods, uh, but uh, now I'm back here to the church uh, and thinking we really need to address this issue of gun violence in a sustained and uh, moving way. And one of the challenges for a pastor is that we are called ministers of word and sacrament, which means we're pastors of you are in our thoughts and prayers. But thoughts and prayers, so many people are angry because some groups, powerful groups, use you are in our thoughts and prayers as a way to rhetorically squelch the discussion about gun violence and what to do about assault weapons in the hands of young men. There's all sorts of complexities involved in that, but what I want to say is this. As a minister of word and sacrament, a pastor of thought and prayer, we can use our words, our thoughts and prayers not to squelch the discussion, but to open it up. We can take the, word back, the words back from those who have distorted them and use them to shut us down. Thoughts and prayers are actions. They're speaking actions. They're first steps that often lead to many other powerful acts. Some of you have heard me say, we live in language and we swim in story. We live in thoughts and prayers. The thoughts and prayers move our bodies, make us act. So, like the word made flesh is an act, an embodied act of love and righteousness, of redemptive suffering, rather than redemptive violence. So we pick up our cross and we follow Jesus into the public square and we say, enough is enough with the violence. We begin today with lament, that is ritual, grief, and sorrow for a time and a day. And then then we act. If you would like to follow along, the, I should have said this earlier, the liturgy is on our website, uh, CLC for Christ Lutheran Church, Mililani.org. So CLC, Mililani.org. And you can scroll down to the green button. I think it says service uh, after a violent act liturgy, something like that. We had to kind of scrunch it into the button. So you can follow us there if you would like, or just listen as you are able. A pule kako. Let us pray. Gracious God, the news of these days has ripped our hearts and torn our souls. We are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. In the depths of pain and anger, we gather before you. O oh God, our rock and our refuge, you are our only comfort. You are our only hope. Merciful God, you know the depths of our suffering we have only begun to mourn those we have lost. And from Topps Friendly Markets in Buffalo, Roberta A. Drury, Margus D. Morrison, Andre McNeil, Aaron Salter, 
Geraldine Talley, Celestine Cheney, Hayward Patterson, Catherine Massey, Pearl Young, Ruth Whitfield. And from Laguna Woods, California, the Taiwanese Presbyterian Church, Dr. John Cheng. And from Rob Elementary School in Ovalde, Texas, Alexandra Aenea Rubio, Alethea Ramirez, Amory Joe Garza, Annabel Guadalupe Rodriguez, Eliahana Cruz Torres, Eliana Eli Garcia, Eva Mireles, Irma Garcia, Jackie Cazares, Jaila Nicole Silguero, Jace Luvanos, Jose Flores, Leila Salazar, McKenna Lee Elrod, Maite Rodriguez, Miranda Mathis, Navae Bravo, Rogelio Torres, Tess Marie Mata, Uzaya Garcia, Javier Lopez. Uphold all those who love them, we pray, especially surviving family members and friends. Faithful God, surround us with your everlasting arms. Hear our cries of despair. Heed our calls for justice. And do not let us lose hope. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, we pray. Amen. And from Psalm 94. How long, O Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your very own. They kill the widow and the stranger and put the orphans to death. Yet you will not abandon your people, nor will you forsake your very own. If the Lord had not been my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped, your steadfast love, O Lord, upheld me. The Lord has become my stronghold. My God is my rock and refuge. And from Revelation 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is amongst mortals. God will dwell with them, and they will be God's people. God will be with them and will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who is seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. continue with prayers of intercession 
lamenting gun violence. At the end of each petition, I will conclude with two words, we pray. I will pause and invite you to say with me, make us instruments of your peace. Make us instruments of your peace. A poule caco. God, giver of life, you intend for humans to live together in peace. In this time of grief over gun violence, we pray for your presence among us, that trusting your mighty and gentle healing, we may live in hope. We pray. Make us instruments of your peace. God of resurrection, we remember before you those who have died in Buffalo, in Laguna Woods, and in Uvolde. We commend them to your eternal love. Grant healing and wholeness to the survivors who are wounded and traumatized. Restore all whose spirits are maimed by such violence that we may serve as your arms of care to those in distress, we pray, make us instruments of your peace. God of righteousness, you have laid on our elected leaders the responsibility to protect our land. Strengthen their devotion to our common life and guide legislators to enact policies that address our plague of gun violence that our government may support our search for domestic harmony, we pray, make us instruments of your peace. God of compassion, we give you thanks for first responders, for police officers, firefighters, EMTs, and all who offer compassionate aid in situations of tragedy. Keep them safe from harm. Give them courage and sound judgment as they act, that we may join in support of those who risk their lives for others. We pray, make us instruments of your peace. God of forgiveness, we ask your mercy on the ones who fired the weapons. With your grace, transform those who from malice or illness inflict violence on others. Console their families, believing in your power to make all things new. We pray, make us instruments of your peace. God of the promise in word and sacrament, we pray for the church. Give us a voice, your voice, to plead for a society marked by justice and sustained by cooperation among diverse peoples. Train us to resist the lure of brute force, that by your spirit we may become words and signs of your mercy, we pray, make us instruments of your peace. Our help comes from you, O Lord, you who made heaven and earth. In the midst of grief you are our comfort, in the face of uncertainty, you are our rock. In the wake of tragedy, you are our hope. So even as we weep, we praise you and place our trust in you. We pray in the name of the one who suffered and died and was raised for us, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Psalm 91, a psalm of redemption and hope, even in the midst of tragedy. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, you will say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For God will rescue you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly plague. God's wings will cover you, and you will find refuge beneath them. God's faithfulness will be your shield and defense. You shall not fear any terror in the night, 
nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor the sickness that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near to you. You will only have to look with your eyes and you will see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, no evil will befall you, nor shall affliction come near your dwelling. For God will give the angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. Upon their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion cub and the viper. You will trample down the lion and the serpent. I will deliver those who cling to me. I will uphold them because they know my name. They will call me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. And now, your charge after these thoughts and prayers, your call to action. Go out into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Seek justice. Thanks be to God.